had a 13 year old boy come to our department presenting with productive cough and fever for the past two days. He had a mild sore throat at the time as well. Uh, no recent travel history abroad and no history of ill contacts were noted. Clinically, his hydration was normal, the throat was injected and lungs were clear on auscultation. Our impression was an upper respiratory tract infection. So the patient was discharged and prescribed with oral symptomatic relief medications, paracetamol and cough syrup. Four days later, the patient returned again with similar complaints. The clinical examination results were the same as before. Again, he was discharged with additional oral lozenges. Patient returned again after two days. His condition was not improving despite taking the prescribed medications. Clinically, he was still able to tolerate orally and he was not tachypneic. However, his throat remained inflamed but his lungs were clear. The blood tests were ordered and these were the results. The total white cell count was 5.5 with normal neutrophil counts. His platelets were 218, his liver function tests were normal and his renal profile was normal as well. Dengue serology was negative, NS1 antigen was negative and his C-reactive protein was 8.1. Therefore, the Kaistat RP panel was done and the results showed mycoplasma pneumonia was positive. The patient was discharged with azithromycin for the next five days. This is an example of false clinical assumptions and shows that syndromic testing was able to provide an accurate diagnosis and treatment plan as well as reduce the number of visits to the hospital. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.